Fluidflow is provided with a comprehensive database of fluids, pipe materials, pumps, valves and many other piping components. You can also expand the database by adding your own fluids and components, a task which you only need to complete once, as the software automatically stores this data which you can then use on your future modelling projects. Let's take a look at the fluids database. The software is provided with over 1200 fluids. To add new fluids, select the Add button. You can also create new fluid mixtures using those fluids already in the database by selecting the New Mix option. On the right hand side you can see the physical property data for the fluid you have selected. Let's search for water. The physical property data for water is based on the International Association for the Properties of Water and Steam. We can see at a glance that water can be modelled as a liquid, gas or as a two-phase fluid as all light bulb icons are illuminated. I can also review the physical property data in more detail if I need to. Let's review the vapour pressure of water. I can zoom in and out of the graph plot by holding the left mouse button. All physical property data can be reviewed in this way. I will now exit the fluids database and take a look at the boosters database. Expand the centrifugal pump field. The default display is to list all pumps by model name. I have simply organized my list by manufacturer. Expand the Grundfos field and we'll take a look at this first pump. We've got the pump connection sizes, we can see the pump speed range and the impeller diameter range which of course means we can model changes in both parameters in which case the software will automatically apply the pump affinity laws. At the bottom we have the curve data. Let's take a look at the pump capacity curve. Okay. When adding your new pumps to the database you simply enter your flow versus head coordinates on the left hand side and the software will automatically generate the curve plot on the right hand side. You can then choose the curve fit type and equation order which best intersects the coordinates which you have entered. The efficiency and net positive suction head requirement curves are also created in the exact same way. You can view and edit all data in the database. You can also create multiple databases if you need to. This means you can separate data for different projects.